Scotty G here. Well, as you can guess, I'm on the fucking metro. First time I've used public transport in a while. Obviously, due to my recent driving ban. Uh, <laughs> but, it is what it is, you know. I kind of drive, so... Apologies for the noise. But, yeah, I kind of drive, so... Unfortunately, I've got to use uh, public transport. You know, uh, well, you know, because when I was in London, it's obviously a lot quicker to use public transport in London, right? Like. The difference is what I found in London, the buses are actually cheaper in London than they are in uh, Newcastle, and they're a lot more on time as well. Because they've got like a digital screen in the bus stop, and it comes more or less to the second of the bus. It's not like five, ten minutes late like in Newcastle, sometimes, uh, but they're a lot more reliable, what I found. But, you know, the journey just takes a little bit longer, but when you're so used to driving for being 17 years old, you know, that's 20 years, you know, I'm 37 now, you know, I passed my test in November 2000. Um, passed first time. Um, and you just, I just drove, I've, I've took it for granted, driving ever since. If I needed to go anywhere, just jump straight to the car, gym, work, whatever, you know, but it makes things a lot more challenging, I, I my sort of work, plumbing heat, you know, this, I spent most of my working life working in like Darling, in Durham and Middlesbrough, you know, so I mean working away is not an issue when you get trains and stuff, but, you know, uh, ideally uh, jobs in the, uh, in the town centre, his best, where I last worked at um, Newcastle University on the new science lab. But uh, that contract ended a little while ago. Uh, good job, but um, I've heard, I've, been, I've, I've spoke to a few agencies this morning and things seem to be picking up, but it is Monday and it's a bit of a dead day Monday because uh, with the agencies it's normally like say Wednesday, Thursday. Um, or even Friday when they start getting the jobs in and that's ready for the fresh start for the Monday morning you see um, so fingers crossed I've been I've been uh, I've sent me a uh, GIB CSDS card off to a few of them you know I'm, I'm the nose I'm on the books I've been, you know I've worked for them for many years so we'll see but fingers crossed uh, because obviously, you know, um, I cannot not work, you know, you know, um, you know, like I said the last time I, last time I was in employment, but when I was a plumber, um, I was on the uh, Cromlin Hospital, new extension on Cromlin Hospital, you know, and uh, it was a good job. Uh, I put some videos up on the previous channel, actually, on uh, just giving people a bit of a guidance on how to how to do uh, certain bits of plumbing, you know, but it was commercial, so it's not really relevant to the average householder, you know, because commercial is a hell of a lot different, and that's what I've uh, mostly done in my life, commercial. I mean, I've done domestic when there's been no commercial, but preferably commercial, you know, like schools, hospitals, you know, things like that, factories. Uh, I've done the Real Academy, uh, I don't know, it's a, it's a big black and red building just next to Hewitt Metro. I've done that, uh, obviously, Bead College in Sunderland. Um, doing, four, I don't know, about 15 or 16 Toys R Us for myself. I had that contract. And when the Greggs changed into the new Bakers, sitting in Bakers, I had 35 of them to do around the country. I think the last one I've done was in Perth, right next to Perth Prison. Uh, that was the last one I've done. I've done a few JD, look, quite a few JD sports. Starbucks as well. I've done one of them in Sheffield. Last one I've done was in Sheffield. Uh, last Toys R Us I've done was in Plymouth. Biggest one in the country. Massive it was. Took 15 hours to drain the system. But uh, it was a good job. Very good job. Doing a JD in Wales, Bangor. Which was uh, interesting, to say the least. Uh, that was for my own company, Heat Source Engineering. You know, it is still actually active, but I just haven't 
with my parents dying and whatnot. My dad used to do all my accountancy work, you see, and all the financial side of things. But I've had an offer for someone to do that for us, but it's just getting back in contact with my old, my old connections, you know. Uh, turnkey air conditioning and Taylor Grace air conditioning. Them are the two main companies who I used to subcontract to. Like they used to take on the jo a job itself, say like a school. They would do all the air con, they would do the electrical, duct work, and then whatever mechanical, either like uh, i.e. plumbing and heating, boiler house, toilet blocks, etc. Science lab for the Bunsen burners and in the sinks and whatnot in there. Uh, that would be subcontracted to me, you know. Well, they would put it out to tender, but we had a bit of a, a bit of a, um, understanding, you know. As long as the uh, price suited both of us, and you knew that I'd done jobs previously, and so you knew that the jobs up were a good standard, you know. So it was more or less a done deal. Really. But um, I think the last job I'd done was about 2016. If I remember, so about five years ago, because I think I, I well I started my business in 2011. And uh, well, actually, it went all the way through to 2017 when I was working in London on the Westfield Centre in London, Shepherd's Bush. That was a good job. We're making good money there. You know, we're coming out with like 2,900 pound a week, 12-hour shifts. 77, but uh, the, the digs were paid for, all the hotels were paid for, so you get 25 quid a day food allowance, and then, because uh, the guy had a deal with the travel lodge, so that was all sorted, travel sorted, and uh, we used to work 7 to 7, and then on Friday, we'd finish at half 11, because people wanted to go home, you know, I was the furthest snow than I there. My squad, uh, squad I had, guys are from Nottingham, Stoke, Birmingham, but um, obviously a lot of foreign lads down there as well. Really nice lads, actually, the foreign lads. You know, what I found with them, they were all about respect, you know. When we used to turn all turn up in the morning, all the foreign lads used to shake each other's hands, greet each other, dead happy. Whereas I found with the English, we're nothing like that, you know. It's just different cultures, I suppose. But I did find that there were massive on respect, which which is which which really means a lot to me. So I get that, you know, respect to them for it, like because obviously some of the English lads are calling them and thinking what they're doing. Do you know what I mean? But they're just ignorant, you know. Uh, at the end of the day, they're just totally ignorant. But uh, no, I respect that. Uh, really like the Polish lads and the, uh, the Russian lads, Lithuanian, you know, etc. No, no, yeah, the they were, they were good workers as well, really hard workers, you know, good workers. I enjoyed working with them. Um, anyway, I'm going to go for now, so I shall see you soon. Uh, and obviously, like I said, the job hunting is going well. And like I've said before many times over the years, I'm hopeful because even though it's been a bit slow recently, obviously with the pandemic and whatnot and this, that and the other, it normally just comes out of nowhere, bump, and it's there. Uh, you know, it's happened. You know, I've been in this game long enough now to know the patterns, so, and that's what normally happens, you know, so. It'll, it'll come, it'll come. Just gotta be patient and uh, I'll be happy because I'll be working again. Right, Scotty G out. Peace.